So we're gonna do a little bit of a different video today. Uh, usually I'm in the shop working on dirt bikes or motorcycles or Cerakoting. Today I'm gonna show you the other side of the shop. I've always said I was gonna show you guys and I never did. So behind the wall on the upper part of the shop, behind that wall that I've always talked about, this is the room. This is where I keep my music stuff. Um, this is my, my recording studio. Um, when I do have the time to do it. Um, lately, I haven't been, uh, lately I've been, I've been in the shop so much, I haven't been in here at all. So, I figured I'd show you guys and we can check it out. There we go. My buddy Billy's in here. <laughs> Chilling. It's like an episode of Cribs. So here it is. Small, cozy. We'll, uh, start with the drums. That's my brother's kit. The old Pearl Exports. They used to be silver, but I came out here one day. It was really cold out. It was like in the negatives, and there was a crack in the shell, in the skin, you know, the wrap itself. And uh, for some reason, the whole thing lifted. So we just decided to pull it off. Um, I pulled it all off, pulled all the glue off, sanded them for him, and he did the uh, staining. That came out awesome. Uh, this kit's been around for a long time, maybe 15 years plus, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this thing's awesome. Been through the ringer and back. It's been through a lot of shows. Been on the chance stage a lot. Been on the loft stage a lot. Um, been dropped a lot. Been beaten a lot. Kicked a lot. Thrown a lot. This thing has seen the day. High school auditorium. Yeah, like since I was in high school. <laughs> Um, you got my little rig here. It's just my Fender MH head with a uh, 412 cab, but I actually only have two 12s in it, which are uh, diagonally set, which I've had four speakers in this thing. It sounds horrible. Went down to two. Sounds awesome. I've played live for years with that setup, and it was amazing. Um, the old sound guy, Rob at the Chance, always used to do nothing but compliment the tone of that cab just because it was... Uh, you know, notice not distorted. It just wasn't. It was just uh, kept the stage volume low because there was uh, only two twelves, and um, let the PA do the work. So, got the small little back line in here. The bass cab. This is uh, the old bassist in my old band, Fallen and the Rise Within. It's this setup. Uh, it keeps it here. We use it just for recording once in a while, just to lay down a bass track. Got a uh, Billy setup. Got the backup keyboard. He's just got the old Randall, uh, the RX 120. Um, sounds pretty. Sounds pretty good for you know the setup that he has with his pedals. He uses just the old metal zone with the the chromatic tuner, and now he just got a loop pedal just to mess around with. Um, pedal uh, wise, I have the the old. Uh, this thing is like an ancient book. The old Boss GT10. No one. It's, elite. it's a lazy man's pedal because it has everything built in. So. Sounds great. But I've had it for literally a decade, and it's amazing. I wouldn't. Uh, I would be upset to get rid of this thing. And GT8 that before that. And before that, yeah, I had a GT8. So. Almost the same. It's pretty. Uh, pretty awesome pedal. It's been around for a long time, and uh, my settings that I have on it if i were to lose the settings i have on there now i would cry because it was uh years years and years of trying to get trying to perfect the tone and i finally have got it <laughs> um so that's the small speaker setup over on this wall we decided to do the uh the guitar hangers on the wall um i came up with the idea and me and billy executed it um each now each spot is built individual for that guitar so it's you can't mix match them around uh, we made it so every instrument every guitar every bass has its own particular spot um, so each one is built around that particular instrument um, I just got done building this LTD this was the uh, just a regular Alexi um, edition signature children of bone baby I made it uh the Kenny signature and named it Blue Lagoon. And this paint job came out awesome. Uh, my old LTD H250. Uh, this is my oldest guitar. Um, I've gotten this. I've probably, this has probably been almost around almost as long as that Pearl Export drum kit I showed you. Um, Hours. 
He's got hours. Hours, baby. This thing's and been shows. thrown, chucked, smashed into my amp by accident. <laughs> um, now we just got a few other parts, guitars, uh, two ba a bass and a guitar that need to just be finished and gone through. Um, and then we got the Brownsville bass and the Ibanez. Which is active. Which the Ibanez we're keeping, you know, I'm just storing here for a friend. Um, and we also do get the courtesy of using it, which is awesome. Thank you to Mike Leeson. So this keyboard we use, this is uh, my buddy Dylan's. He lets, uh, lets it stay here. Um, and we use it to make drum beats and recordings when we're thinking of ideas for songs. And I can also plug it into Pro Tools into a synth drive or whatever and actually make it so it's a synth and I can make whatever, you know, change the sound of whatever instrument you want through Pro Tools itself. Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Usually this is where we do it. I'll put the laptop out here. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing, this room... We just redid it. It never looked like this. <laughs> just black walls. This, I mean, I wish I could have. There's, if you go back on my Instagram and Facebook, there is old pictures of this place of what it looked like before this. And uh, you, you'll be blown away. Um, me and Billy put hours into this room making it look like this this past winter. Not this past winter, but last winter, I should say. Um, and, uh, yeah, we spent hours in here. And we did it on a cheap, small budget. Um, I like to do everything on a small budget if I can. Got our EQ um, wall that has pictures and memory yeah, on it. I made a little EQ bar with all the memory pictures of working at the Chance and playing shows. Got Frank Pallet, the owner of the Chance, right there in his band. Three up, three down. Yeah, baby. Shout out to Frank. This old band picks, old pictures of the mixers at uh, Chance, the old Civic Center picks when we used to be loaders. Um, the mess at the Civic Center? The messes at the Civic Center. <laughs> Uh, we got Hindenburg, that's awesome. They're a good band. Uh, Sesame Street, <laughs> uh, that was the old mixer. Uh, monitor board at the Chance. Then we got a uh, look at Sato. So just an old. You got, your own, woo! you got your own Kenny oh, Oakley over here. The old Kenny Oakley. With the fur. My fucking vest on with the fur coat. <laughs> Ever stop, baby. So, yeah. So the cool thing about this room. I'm going to show you in the next scene. Um, it has a chill mode. Right now it's kind of in work mode. This is the work lights. Well, we also have a chill mode. There was a cobweb on my finger. That was odd. Chill mode is pretty nice. We have some lights set up. And this is when we're just chilling, playing, jamming music. This is what mode it goes into. Boom. This is chill mode. Got some lights set up. Spotlights on the guitar. So this is what we the, the ambient lighting we use for when we're doing recording. Literally uh, in daytime, you can put the blackout curtains across the windows and literally black it out in here. It's uh, pitch black to where you can run the lights, and it's uh, it's awesome. So uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this room. Never really did. Uh, it's been here just as long as all these videos have been being made, and uh, I've never shown a video on it. Um, maybe one day you'll see a video of some uh, music or something. You never know. There's been some talks up in the works or something coming up, so you'll have to stay tuned for that too. And, uh, yep. Yeah. I was glad to show you guys this. Uh, we'll talk to you later. See you in the next video. Uh, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. I don't really care. Help a brother out. Don't get the coronavirus. Peace.